Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Rad Kutarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a Pisces Sun, Moon, and as well rising, a monthly tarot reading October 2019. And bear with me just a second, guys, to do the shuffling here, and then we can jump uh, right into uh, the reading. Alright, so the first card which represents the topic of your month, Pisces, is going to be the King of Pentacles, uh, of King of Cups, I'm sorry. Followed by the next one which represents the challenges uh, that you need to overcome here, that is to be the Page of Pentacles. Followed by the next one which represents the best possible approach towards the situation or the actions that you should take in regards to the endeavours through the month. Or the way that I like to call this one, the intentions that you should incorporate. The next one, uh, the fourth, it is the lesson that you need to learn, by the way. The third one, it is the Wheel of Fortune here as intentions. Then we do have the Justice card as the fourth card, which represents the lesson that you are to learn throughout the months or why this is all happening around. And the last one, uh, we do have a winner here for what it seems. That will be the Star card and these are the energies which are to support you throughout the month. So before we go into the interpretation of the cards, let's run them one more time. We do have the King of Cups, which stands as a topic, followed by the next one, which represents the challenges here um, <clears throat> of, the, uh, of the month itself. We do have the Page of Pentacles. Then it is the um, best uh, possible approach to the situation or also the intentions that uh, you should incorporate here. We do have the Wheel of Fortune. Followed by the fourth one, which stands for the lesson that you are to learn or the reason why all this is happening. That will be the justice card. And the last one, it is the energies that are going to help you get through the months and to capitalize the best as you can throughout the months. That is going to be the star card. So, uh, <clears throat> King of Cups as a topic is going to be catalyzed by the Page of Cups. And that is the, the bringer of change for you, all right? The one that comes around and um, turns you around when you are finding yourself upside down. What I mean is that the least that you have expected, as someone appears in your life that offers you exactly what you need. Okay, that and uh, but there is a, a catch here, right? In order for you to take that offer or to be able to capitalize on the offer, it will require you to change positions as well, to change standpoints, to change opinions, or in other words, to making a critical self-assessment and as well to leave the attendancy of the minor details that serves no purpose whatsoever, but instead attend to the overview of, the, uh, of life. Now, these two cards here are pointing that this person, the King of Cups, it's either going to give you a, a very uh, 
exceptional offer. It's kind of like a very tempting and exceptional offer or will propose you a helping hand. But once again, in order for you to take advantage of that, it will require for you to change positions. And under changing positions, I mean, you know, like standpoints, opinions, um, maybe it, it may require from you to give up of something, okay? It's just it will require some sort of a uh, adaptation of your behalf. But definitely for you, Pisces, this uh, this month is going to be a, a month here where um, you're going to have your life uh, turned around into, in toward a better perspective, thanks to this person, this man, the King of Cups. Uh, what else I can tell here? Well, these cards are speaking for deep emotional connection and commitment, possibly. Why? Because two things. First, the King of Cups, it's uh, a person capable of deep emotions. The, the downside of the King of Cups, it is does not brag about those emotions. So, for example, if that person loves you, uh, only you are going to know that, okay? They're not going to display their emotions towards you in public. The second card that tells me that there will be an emotional connection, it is the Page of Cups in a correlation in a, as a catalyst to the King of Cups because the page feels extremely poignant. It feels extremely unfulfilled was the right word that I was searching for when not emotionally connected with the topic. And this person is your topic and you are their topic throughout the month. So you, you, you see where I'm going? Even though that could be a business endeavor, there will be definitely an, an emotional connection in between you and that person who is there to drag you off the mud, all right? Who is there to pull you out of uh, the um, of the bottom of the pit that you are finding yourself at in some sort of a situation in your life. So be on your be on a watch out for this one. Uh, it's usually a very balanced one. It's very methodical. It's kind of like a tense to everything with a, a poker face, stone cold seemingly while within once again, it's capable of deep emotional connection and very balanced and uh, I, I, with a pro it acts in a professional manner. So what is going to be the challenge here? We do have the Page of Pentacles. That is another person and it is catalyzed by the Ace of Swords. Now, I'm a bit baffled uh, because I don't know how the page, it's, uh, it's appearing into the situation, what kind of a role the page takes. The only thing from these cards is what I can tell you what it is the reason the page is there and what kind of a difficulty is going to play for you. And the thing is that the page, it kind of lacks a, a mental clarity and spiritual strength for that matter to keep up with you and with your with your stray for life, with your situation in general that, uh, that arises here with the um, King of Cups, okay? And uh, while, they, that, while the page is trying to, to kind of like a um, scale up, how much it would take to follow the agenda of the King of Cups, all right? They are missing their chance to be, uh, to be a part of the endeavor itself with the King of Cups, okay? So uh, that being said, here the page uh, to me appears as a person that simply needs to go because if you keep them with you, they are gonna be just a, a dead meat. They are gonna be a, uh, a an empty burden. I don't know how to display it, but it's kind of like a leverage, right? A liability is going to be that person because they will be never they they will never be able to see the reason behind why 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 something is done, how it's done, uh, and the results of it as well. It is they they cannot comprehend on it for reason being it is that they don't have the vision over the over the situation itself. They don't have the the accurate diagnosis. <clears throat> of what the reality for you is. I mean, and here we're talking about you, all right? Because uh, the page is very comfortable. It is finding itself in a very comfortable position, all right? But uh, this isn't your position, okay? And 
your comfortable position, it is with the King of Cups, which appears to be the discomfortable position of the Page of Pentacles. So I do believe that that is going to be the challenge here to let this person go in a sense of that severing certain activities with them. Now you don't have to detach completely like being a friend and from the day after tomorrow you don't speak like forever, all right? But it's just you need to build up some boundaries in between you and the page itself. And that is further elab elaborated here in the reading with the uh, Ace of Swords, which is the key, <clears throat> which is the key of how you can overcome the page by a doing the necessary actions, a bit drastic, but yet necessary. And also by confronting him or, or it's, you know, with the truth, uh, in a sense of the telling the page that they simply cannot take a part of your future endeavors with the King of uh, with the King of Cups, either business or relationships. One uh, that could be your friend that is always messing up with your future relationships. You know that could be the coworker that simply cannot keep up with the uh, with the project. It could be anybody. All right, but the point is, is that this is a person who is uh, its solo purpose is to keep you down is to slow you down i'm sorry so what are the uh what should be your intentions here we do have the wheel of fortune with the knight of cups and that is a, a splendid combination we do have and an active uh, enemies that are simply saying in this specific situation that the luck is entirely in your favor now these two cards are enemies. The king of uh, the, the knights of cups never relies on luck, and it's completely killed by the luck itself. All right. So the luck is entirely in your favor, like I said, and your solo intention throughout the month it is to take advantage of every single opportunity that comes around, regardless of how small it is. Because with this combination, it's very likely that the golden bird is gonna uh, is gonna simply land on your shoulders and you have to catch it. And as a bird, it could be a small one, it could be a big one. What I mean here, guys, is that you don't know which of those opportunities you are to have is going to appear to be a gold mine. Well, I could kind of like guess with a uh, fair amount of certainty that the opportunity is going to be that offer from the King of Cups, all right? But yet the King of Cups could be the necessary uh, condition or a mean for you to take on the opportunity. But definitely, should you take advantage of the, this um, an extraordinary luck that you're going to have and um, a, a, a luck of the draw throughout the months, all right? And the the fortunate circumstances being at your side, you can change a, the course of events of a lot of poignant situations in your life, okay? You can improve significantly your circumstances in every single field uh, of your life. But one more thing I wanna, I wanna warn you here with these two cards is that you're gonna be very, very busy activity-wise. There will be activity after activity coming in your way. And like I said, you don't wanna miss anything, all right? Right? because you don't know where the gold mine is going to come up from because there is a gold mine waiting for you throughout the months <clears throat> all right gold mine is a uh, emotions gold mine is a your money you know or is a uh, health it, it doesn't matter it, you do have a gold mine of something and uh, it will be a shame if you miss it just because you felt lazy or you didn't want to spend the time in to explore the uh, to explore the activity uh, the next one is going to be about the lesson that you need to learn or the lesson that the month is going to teach you here. We do have the justice and it is accompanied by or catalyzed by the King of Pentacles. And uh, this is uh, an, an active enemies once again. And that is a lesson that sometimes you have to draw a line and simply move forward. That, that's the whole thing that these two cards are saying. Sometimes there is a, a certain um, extent that one can situate themselves in life. And even if one uh, in, in certain in certain enterprises, I mean, okay? You can reach only a, a certain point into projects, into certain relationships as well, and so on and so forth. And you need to recognize those points that there is no improvement beyond them because simply there is no potential beyond them. And that is what lesson you're gonna learn when you are reaching those points. And at that point, all right, 
uh, at, that, uh, at that end of the line, instead of throwing endlessly resources into a futile direction, redirecting those resources into what? The opportunities, the new activities that the month is throwing at you, and there are going to be a lot. You want relationships, there are going to be many people for you to date with. You want a, 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 a lucrative career, you're jobless, there are going to be many options for you to start a job at, all right? And it is up to you to pick the one that suits you best, but you need to draw a line, all right? You need to understand here that the, uh, from the lesson of the month, it is that. Um, there is uh, there is no improvement if you stumble on, on the same place and you secured whatever you could and now it's time to simply take the extended hand of the King of Cups, all right? Or the offer that this man is it's giving to you. And the last one, it is the uh, energies which are to support you here. We do have uh, the uh, star card and it is accompanied by the temperance. So this is an, an active friend, first of all. Well, energy or high star card is, in, is a, an energies that are forming unfolding love and unconditional support in any case, guys. And also, it is these are energies that are helping manifesting a, a long-term goal, like a long-term fulcrum. Energies which are simply uh, annihilating a... Um, how do I say it? A, a, a poignant times. So simply those energies are going to abate the, uh, the despondency you feel, all right? <clears throat> the helplessness you feel, for example, the, um, uh, the lack of uh, determination as well, the lack of, uh, of confidence also. And uh, additionally to that, those energies will help you tackle with whatever comes in your way with such an ease, with, uh, with, with such a, not detachment, but a carefree behavior as well, that you are, that you are going to be like, uh, it's going to be contagious with everybody. Everybody will want to be around you because you are uh, boosting their enthusiasm so much because the energies are uh, uh, the energies which are helping you are such that you breed confidence you breed reliability you breed support you breed unfolding love and, and again I do believe that throughout the months you Pisces together cooperating with the king of cups um, which should be by the way older than you are um, Together, you can build up a hell of a team, not just two of you, but you, you two are going to be like the king and the queen, all right? Um, <clears throat> the, the two of you and the team itself can go for a great, great things, all right? But uh, rest assured here, should you be single, I wouldn't waste my time, all right, uh, sobbing at my home, but instead, I would have started going out and helping that these circumstances, the right circumstances to come around so I can meet the King of Cups. So that being said, Pisces, this was your uh, monthly tarot reading, October 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, we are going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.